Yo, what's good, crypto fam? It's your boy, Tales from the Crypto, and it's time for another Crypto Tales. Let's get it. I would never fail to leave you bullish as hell. Stuffing bags to the fullest, don't sell. This is Crypto Tales, and you know how we do it. We start off by checking out today's gains, and it's looking like everything is still red. Don't trip by the dip. Weak hands losing grip. You can see it right there. XCM up 19%, BAT up 9%, UMA 13%. Adam seven. So I seen this. I'm like, well, I'm used to this now. It's been like that for like over a month now. So whatever. I don't know if any of y'all are into it, but Ethereum Max is up 91%. So when I seen that, I'm like, okay, I did buy a fat bag of Ethereum Max back when uh, Floyd Mayweather wore it for his fight. He had a T-shirt on. He, he was promoting it at the uh, Bitcoin Miami convention. He got booed for doing it. But Ethereum Max has a lot of celebrity promotion. Like they had uh, Kim Kardashian was posting about it on her Instagram. Paul Pierce, the former Boston Celtic, he was a uh, he said that he made more money on this crypto in the past month than he made in a whole year. But that's not me telling you get an Ethereum Max. I'm just saying it's up 91% right now, and I have no idea why. Shout out Bullzilla from the Bullish Network, always keeping it bullish retweeted my video so if you haven't checked it out check out my little deep dive i did on baby xrp i did it for the boy this is not financial advice i am not a financial advisor i'm just letting you know these crypto tales we got jerome powell talk about he's undecided on the benefits of central bank digital currencies now based off this article basically saying well why don't we just use stable coins instead and just regulate those so he sees that basically it's the same thing and why waste time? And then we have the NFL player Saquon Barkley to be paid in Bitcoin. So he's taking his whole check in Bitcoin. So now it looks like it's a celebrity push to push crypto. We got different celebrities talking about Ethereum Max. We got Busta Rhymes. He had posted yesterday talking about Sheeb, Feg, and Doge. So we got people with big followings bringing more people to the space and I love it. So some big news came out two hours ago. The US Finance Agency will meet to discuss the future impact of stable coins. So just like the other article was saying, why get into central bank digital currencies when there's already stable coins? So I feel like this meeting is gonna be really big. It's either gonna be a make or break moment for stable coins. Um, it's either they're gonna work with the system or the system is gonna to try to banish them. And you can already kind of see it with Tether. So I don't know, we'll see. U.S. Secretary of Treasury Janet Yellen announced plans to convene the President's Working Group on Financial Markets, or PWG as well, as the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency and the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation to discuss possible interagency work with regards to stablecoin. The meeting is set to take place on Monday, July 19th. So I like that interagency word, meaning they're trying to work together, hopefully, but it does say possibly. So let's hope that that is the case. Um, and it is a quote from her bringing together regulators will enable us to assess the potential benefits of stable coins while mitigating risks they could pose to users markets or the financial system in the light of rapid growth in digital asset it is important for the agencies to collaborate on the regulation of this sector and the development of any recommendations for new authorities in december 2020 the pwg stated that it would begin examining current regulations of stable coins in order to identify and address the technology related risks so it's not really risk to people it's more like risk to their system and basically they have to keep control so that's what it's all about the announcements of this meeting came two days after the chairman of federal reserve jerome powell addressed the need for stricter regulations of stable coins in the front of the house of representatives powell stated that if the stable coins are to be a part of the payments universe regulation is needed yesterday a bipartisan bill was introduced to the house to provide a clear definition of assets like digital tokens and other emerging technologies under current securities law. The Security Clarity Act would apply equally to all assets, tangible or digital, and states and investment contract assets is separate and distinct from the offering it may have been a part of. So while we have all this regulations and stuff happening with stable coins in the background, we have this Ripple lawsuit that's looking bad for the SEC. A judge has allowed crypto company Ripple to question former SEC Director William Hyman and it was reported by Bloomberg. The former SEC director gave a June 2018 speech that urged why Bitcoin and Ethereum are not securities. 
Ripple hopes the SEC will now not classify XRP as a security to resolve the lawsuit over the token. So basically, William Hinman has to go and basically explain how did he give Ethereum and Bitcoin regulatory clarity when Ethereum was the one that did an ICO in the past and he works for an Ethereum company. It's just too much conflict of interest and it's looking all bad for the SEC. If you guys have BitTrue, check out BitTrue. They're doing $100,000 in prizes at XDC, Soul, and BTR. All you got to do is go on there, share it on your profile. For every 10 likes you get, you get one ticket. And then you go back into it and you get free spins for every ticket. And you can win up to $100,000 in prizes. So check it out. Like my post. I'll go back and like your post. And I appreciate the support. You help me help you. You feel me? The Zenfin community has reduced the supply of XDCE tokens by 10 million. So they're still reducing the supply. Eventually, they're going to terminate all those tokens. So if you still have any XDCE, go and transform them into XDC. Um, I've done it. If you need help, just let me know. I'll tell you what you need to do. It's not hard. But uh, definitely do that because it's looking like you're running out of time. And just in case y'all forgot. what you don't get about this. I've told you a thousand freaking times. Ripple! That's my quick update today. I got things to do. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Tripping, then getting bags, double up my profits and triple up my risk.